the film tells a fictional story about a coup d'etat in Mexico. The action begins with the wedding of representatives of high society, Marianne and the promising architect Alan. All the cream of society are walking at the wedding because Marianne is the daughter of one of the most influential businessmen in Mexico City. The girl gives her mother the cash gifts of the guests and she puts them in the safe. Meanwhile, it becomes known that unrest has begun in the city and the rebels, embittered, determined against rich people, are a few blocks from the house where the wedding is being held. Soon, a high-ranking government official, Victor, arrives at Mariana's parents' house. He happily declares that he has managed to obtain a permit for the construction of an important facility. This means that soon all interested parties will become even richer. After learning about the proximity of the rebels, the official decides to take the family away from the wedding as soon as possible and take them to a safe place. At this moment, Rolando, an old man who, together with his wife Eliza, worked for the owners for a long time, appears on the threshold of the house. He asks for help. He and his wife were in the hospital for a routine procedure. But chaos broke out on the streets, and everyone present was asked to give way to the wounded. Rolando wants to take his seriously ill wife to a private clinic, and asks the former hostess to lend him 200,000 pesos, about $10,000. Returning to the banquet, the woman tries to collect the necessary amount, but she fails, and she brings Rolando only a part 35,000 pesos. In desperation, the old man turns to Marianne for help. The girl, ready to give Rolando all the wedding gifts, tries to open the safe, but she fails. Her father and brother have changed the password and are not going to tell her it. The girl tries to withdraw money from her credit card and at that moment discovers that the old man has already left. Marianne calls one of Christian's servants and the two of them quietly leave the party. The girl wants to withdraw money from the card and take it to Rolando. However, they can't get far because the road was blocked by special forces. The military is trying to contain the pressure of the rebels. Forced to go back, Marianne and Christian hear on the radio about the outrages that the rebels are doing. At the same time, the government is not doing anything, and the police are idle at some posts. The protesters, whose clothes for some reason are covered with green paint, manage to break into the mansion. The rebel leader shoots one of the guests. Felipe, the head of the security service, decides to betray the owners and goes over to the side of the rebels. It is he who forces the old mistress, Marianne's mother, to open the safe, and then kills her in cold blood. Rebellious servants take everything of value out of the house. Only a woman named Marta, Christian's mother, remains faithful to her masters. With great difficulty, Marianne and Christian make their way to Rolando's house. It turns out that the old man is the young man's uncle. He is also scared by everything that is happening, but he is glad to see the guys. The girl promises to take Eliza to the hospital. Meanwhile, the radio reports that the military has managed to establish control over some parts of the city. Marta, who survived the rebel attack, comes to her senses and discovers two more surviving members of the wealthy family she served for many years, Ivan and Daniel. They try to establish a connection with Marianne, but the girl does not pick up the phone. When Christian goes outside to assess the situation, he is suddenly grabbed by the military and ordered to take them to Marianne. They claim they want to take the girl home. Marianne, thinking that they can be trusted, gets into the van. However, the saviors immediately take her phone and jewelry from her and take her not home, but to a military base. Soon the girl realizes that she has been kidnapped. Several other girls from rich families are sitting next to her in a cramped cell. The captives are forced to give out their personal data and phone numbers of relatives in order to use them for extortion. Rolando tries to get to the hospital to his wife, but the military kills him. And Marianne's fiancé, Alan, receives a message from the military demanding to pay a huge ransom. Christian is trying to save Marianne. The military, unofficially demanding from him to get 800,000 thousand, let him out into the city. A young man comes to Daniel. He gives him the right amount, but the military says they need another million. Meanwhile, relatives of one of the captives collect money and give it to the military. They promise to release her, but they kill her. At this moment, Marianne realizes that she will not get out of here alive. Explanation of the ending of the picture. Closer to the finale, it turns out that the local military staged a coup. That's why they did not interfere with the rebels. They took advantage of the riots to make money and establish a dictatorship. 
Having ceased to be soldiers, they became militants and traitors. Marianne's relatives connect all their connections and start working with the new government directly. Several soldiers take Marianne and Christian to a small hotel. Then the girl is shot in the head, and the young man is forced to take a gun to get his fingerprints. Everyone wants to present it as if it was he who, in collusion with Marta, held the girl hostage. After that, they kill him too. Marta, accused of extremism, is hanged on the square. At the very end of the film, the military expresses condolences to Alan in connection with the death of his fiancée. Probably the meaning of the ending of the film, New Order, is that the time has come for another government and the crimes of the military will never be investigated. By the way, according to one interpretation, a government official victor was behind the bloody events. This is probably the key to his quick departure from the wedding. He was alive and almost unharmed. But innocent people suffered, including Martha and Christian, who turned out to be scapegoats. The film New Order touches on a lot of interesting topics, leaving the audience thinking. First of all, it is worth noting the topic of totalitarianism and the shortcomings of a democratic society. The film shows how dangerous power can be if it is not controlled and tested by society. The film touches on a lot of interesting topics, leaving the audience thinking. First of all, it is worth noting the topic of totalitarianism and the shortcomings of a democratic society. The film shows how dangerous power can be if it is not controlled and tested by society. Another important topic is the problem of state secrets and their impact on the lives of ordinary people. The film shows how government agencies use their capabilities to their advantage, often violating the rights of citizens and putting them in danger.